When Krista was 10 years old, she had a 10 day long headache that was just relentless. When they did the MRI, they noticed a cyst. They really didn't attribute the headaches and things to that cyst. They said, you know, you must have had a virus, but while we were in there, we found this cyst and we should keep monitoring it. Because since that, everything's just been a disaster. First she loses her vision in her left eye, then her vision starts to go in her right eye. Her body feels like it's on fire. It feels like burning bee stings. Almost like venom is traveling through your body. We start seeing every kind of doctor in the book. I've been to probably 20 to 40 doctors. Pain management doctors, rheumatologists, neurologists. who's tested for cat scratch fever, MS, every sort of demyelinating condition. I've gotten spinal taps, countless numbers of MRIs. We're asking them, could this have anything to do with the cyst? Some doctors will say, maybe. Some doctors will say, no, no way. It's just like, nobody knows what's going on. And it's just been so hard finding the doctors, the correct ones. It's been a roller coaster. She was not afraid of being sick. She was afraid of being alone and she wanted people to help her feel better. It's the scariest feeling is not knowing. The moment everybody agreed that the tumor needs to come out was the latest MRI where it had significantly changed. Then the big question became, how's it gonna come out? The scariest thing I've ever heard in my life was that I had to get brain surgery. It's not something you want to hear when you're 13. The tumor is located in the pineal region of her brain, which is the exact center of her head. It's the most dangerous brain surgery there is. So many doctors say there's no way that, that they could do it. 